His name not known by many, he is a man that hates making noise and hates publicity. His name is not mentioned any only in the streets, but his peace and wealth speaks for itself. Amfri Karaoke, a man who single-handedly funded the campaigns of the current president of Kenya, William Ruto. Now today I'm bringing to you the story of the silent, shy billionaire. Humphrey Karaoke, I can say from my own perception right now, he is the richest man in the country. Humphrey Karaoke is one of Kenyan's controversial billionaires who survived a tax storm worthy over 40 billion against the Kenya Revenue Authority. The 65 year old is the founder of Janus Continental Group, which brings together several companies in the petroleum, energy, hospitality, and real estate sectors. According to Karaoke's website, the Janus Continental Group has employed over 700 people in more than 10, ca 10 countries in East, Central, and Southern Africa, United Arab Emirates, and Europe. Humphrey Karaoke's investment. Forbes reported that Karaoke owns several companies and properties under the Janus Continental Group umbrella. These include the hub in Karen, which is one of the greatest and biggest malls in the country. Africa Spirits, Fairmont, Mount Kenya Safari Club, Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy and Animal Orphanage, Dalbit Petroleum, and Great Lakes Africa Energy. Now we are looking at a few of his properties. And to start with, we are starting with the hub, which is in current being one of the biggest and greatest uh, properties that are owned by billionaire Amfri Karaoke. This is the hub. Karaoke has invested in the lucrative real estate sector through the hub mall located in current leafy suburbs of Nairobi. The hub hosts local and international retailers that support small businesses in the country. It was developed over two it has it was developed over two phases. The first phase being a 35,000 square meter gross area featuring a retail, offices, medical and wellness center which opened on February 4th, 2016. The second phase involved a more parking and a hotel conference center. It has over one, one 1,200 parking bays, over 1,300 eatery seats, and over 85 stores according to its website. The mall receives an average of 55,000 visitors weekly. And on number two on its properties is Dalbit Petroleum which was established in 2002. It is supplies and distribution, distributes petroleum products and services across East, Central and South Africa. It has nine fuel depots and operates in nine African countries within with 148 employees as per its website. The company celebrated its 20th anniversary on October 24th, 2022. And this is what was said. Looking back at our success and failures over the past 20 years, it is crystal clear how transformation access to energy enabled by reliable infrastructure can be. Dalbit was founded on the principle of fueling regional growth and development. From humble beginnings, we are fortunate to supply energy to over nine countries across East and Southern Africa and looking forward to contribute to the national development of even more countries over the next 20 years and beyond. That was, that was the statement that was given by Humphrey Karaoke during the 20th, the 20th anniversary celebration. On number three is the Great Lake African Energy, GL Africa Energy, UK 
Limited is a UK registered company with investment in energy solutions in the Great Lakes and Southern Africa regions. The company was established in 2013 with the aim of becoming a leading developer and operator of power projects. The company is one of the independent power producers in Kenya. Now we go to Fairmont Mount Kenya Safari Club. The billionaire also owns the Fairmount Mount Kenya Clubs uh, Safari Club, which offers magnificent view of majestic Mount Kenya. The facility has a hundred luxurious hotel rooms and villas set in over a hundred acres of landscaped garden. President William Ruto, an ally of karaoke, took his cabinet and senior government officials to the club on January 5th for a retreat. On number five is the Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy and Animal Orphanage. The billionaire owns the Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy and Animal Orphanage in Nanyuki. The conservancy seeks to prevent the extinction of endangered wildlife species by breeding the animals with a view to returning them to the wild. Number six is Africa Spirits. Karaoke's liquor business was opened in December 2022. After three years of closure over tax evasion allegations, the Kenya Revenue Authority and Directorate of Criminal Investigations handed over Africa Spirits Limited back to karaoke after investigative consultations. The authority said the liquor based alcohol distiller was reopened to help it boost tax collection after karaoke was left off the hook in a multi billion tax evasion case. Karaoke was also appointed to National Investment Council. In December 2022, President William Ruto named Karaoke as one of the members of the National Investment Council. The council is expected to advise the government on increasing investment in Kenya and growing the economy. Other members of the council are KCB Managing Director Paul Russo, Twiga Foods Chief Executive Officer CEO Peter Jonjo, and Twiga Foon CEO Peter, yeah, Peter Jojo. I mentioned that. Yeah. That's all we have in regards to this guy. But I tell you, this was the man behind Ruto's success. And how the money that Ruto was distributing all over the country during the presidential election, he was the man behind that. As if for now, you can go ahead and subscribe to FM African Documentary. My name is Felix Manda. See you in the next video.